Hello everyone, Stars RJ here, and it's time to tip the scales of the game of Halo Master Chief Collection. Well, looks like we're going to play Halo 4. Let's get started. Yeah, I'm just gonna get started and see what we can do about it. Yeah, so as we as we last recall As we last recall, uh I'm gonna hit restart. Yeah, so in Halo 3, Master Chief was left stranded in space. Yeah, four years after the Halo event. Wait, so it's 24, 52. Oh, yeah, wait. Just making yeah, math. <laughs> Forward under Dawn. For some reason, this changed to a different frigate altogether. Yeah, they've changed a lot of things. Especially for one of the dawn, it's not a frigate anymore. It's like some kind of cruiser now. You'll see. Warning, half frigate, half a frigate missing. Please contact tech support. I like how detailed the schematic is. It tells you exactly how badly damaged it is. It even has a picture of how badly damaged the ship is. Right down to those flailing conduits and everything. Instead of giving you like half the ship schematic and then telling it and then half of it in red. Saying, hey, you got half the ship is missing. I need you. Wake me, if you need me. What do you know? When you say wake me if you need me. Alright, uh. Are the controls inverted? <laughs> We've been out for a while. Where are we? We're still adrift on the dawn. Why did you wake me? Hang on. Bringing your systems online now. I rewrote your ship's firmware while you were out. You've been busy. Activating the ship's gravity generator. <laughs> Chief, look up. You need to pull the manual release. Yeah, now this is interesting. Actually, hang on a second. Sec, sec, I haven't actually checked my controls. Yeah, I should really check my controls. Let's see. Uh, mouse and keyboard controls. Mouse sensitivity scale. Whatever. Mouse acceleration. Whatever. Uh, controls, controls, controls. Where's my finger bindings? Here we are. Let's see. All right. So we got that. Crouch, sprint, whatever. Sprints. That's fine. Fire, zoom in. That's also fine. Melee is F. Okay, that's good. Throw a grenade is mouse three. Yeah, okay. So I did actually check. The, I did actually configure the controls. I thought I thought I hadn't. Thought I hadn't configured them, but guess I guess I guess I did. Seems like old times. Jeez. Ready to get back to work. Ugh. I Uncanny you Valley. Fuck. We've got intrusion alerts lighting up on multiple decks. Current objective survive. Us is the observation deck, four floors up. Oh, you get rescue team. And then you get to play. With the dead on it. Use weapon system. Right, right, okay.
Okay, so everything reviewed. Yeah, I like how detailed this hologram is. It tells you exactly how badly damaged the ship is. It's like, yeah, can't you just put the whole diagram highlighted in red? Sounds more plausible. Okay, but honestly, the, um, just... How long was I out? Four years, seven months, ten days. Somebody should have found us by now. Are you sure? I mean... Unless it, unless it five years that? out. Sensor scan, high intensity. Doesn't match any known patterns. How close are we to the observation deck? It's directly above us. We have an observation deck? On a frigate? Why? Why? Why do we have one of those? Thing in the bridges. The elevator doors look sealed tight. Chief, be careful. Whoa! Because some areas might have lost pressure. Right. Yeah. Great. Now we have these slow climbing sequences. Chief, watch out! Okay, yeah. So the game, the game gives you the little. Deteriorated so badly. Yeah, the game gives you the little prompts where you should be climbing. Yeah, like that. Oh dear. <laughs> Press F to kill Elite. I thought we had a truce with the Covenant. A lot can happen in four years. Either way, he's probably not alone. We should be careful. Hey, it's a pistol. Right in the back. Storm rifle, huh? This is a puzzle. This is a puzzle rifle equivalent. Yeah, puzzle rifle. It's a long range. It's a this is covered in a shoulder pipe, plus a rifle with a scope and ammo count, but the scope and a heat indicator. Alright. Now what I don't like to That's the last of them. Find the override for the blast shield so we can see what we're up against. What I don't like is the fact that the covenant now back to speaking in their uh, native language. It's like, come on. Just put them back in the give them give them, give them make the friend speak. In humorous helium filled tones. Jeez. Okay, so we have assault rifles and grenades. Quick magnum. Here we go. The good news is these Covenant aren't outfitted like standard military. It's possible we just came across a rogue salvage ship. Or? Yeah. Maybe they haven't recognized us. That's one possibility. Landing craft flanking us. There's a landing craft. The Phantom. <laughs> Grenade. <laughs> yeah, the Master Chief is strong. They definitely, they definitely put that. They definitely kept that part in. The fact that the Master Chief is is a strong boy. Definitely, a, definitely a strong boy. The fact that I can do some. I don't, don't have to be as cautious in Halo Reach. Well, I still have to be cautious. And this is just normal. But the thing is, yeah, maybe it's just because it's normal. But yeah. Oh, there we go. I think he has this. Sort of. Sort of speaking English. English motherfucker, do you speak it? We need to get off this ship. We've got bigger problems. We've got a cruiser on an intercept course. Head for the elevator bank. Didn't the ship's sensors say we still had weapon systems online? Yes, but since the ship was torn in half, we can't access the weapon stations. We'll have to fire them manually from the outer hull. Gee, that's a bit of an oversight.
Bit of an oversight, isn't it? I mean, one of the ship does get torn in half. You've got to act from the outer hull. That's a suicide. I think Cortana can control the ship from the cargo bay. They can make the ship fly from the cargo bay. Oh, right. I forgot. In any game with, with, with the elevator's double door, with doors on either side, the doors on the other side are the ones that are going to open up. So yeah, as, I, as I'm going to point out again, Fallout Under Dawn has, um... The layout of Fallout Under Dawn has changed. Doesn't resemble much of a frigate anymore. The reason why they apparently did it is because 343 said if, if they actually put the scale and all that, What's going to happen is that it's not going to look like a frigate at all. Like, the level will be over very, very quickly. Because there, there, there isn't a lot to have in that frigate. Because seriously, this thing, this thing looks like it has more space than the fucking Pillar Captain, of Autumn. Captain, their shields are down. Assuming they don't raise them, that missile's going to be one heck of a surprise. Assuming they don't raise them, that missile's going to be one heck of a surprise. Yeah, like, this entire thing is like... This entire thing is probably bigger than the Pillar of Autumn, and this is half the ship. These covenants seem more fanatical than the ones we fought with here. Yeah, so apparently these guys are the Storm Covenants, so I'm gonna point it out now. The, they don't really explain they don't really explain this in the game, they don't really explain it very well. And who these guys are. The storm Covenant. I'm surprised the Jaguars are still working for them. I'm, I'm still surprised the Jaguars keep working for these guys. You'd think... How far did the missile come from? We're just about there. You'd think at some point the Jaguars would, um... You have Jaguars on your own side. They're mercenaries. How much are they getting paid? Someone could really make them a better offer. a better offer because right, storm rifle behind Again. Out of the space we go. The auxiliary launch station should be to your left, out of the airlocks. You'll have to prime the launch for ignition. Cortana. Uh -oh. Nothing. Just get to the launch station. And of course, the game gives you this thing. I think on legendary, yeah, it's a beam rifle, so on legendary, that stuff will kill you. I mean, of course, everything else will kill you, but the, that, that, that beam rifle especially will kill you. If you're playing on legendary. That's right, yeah, and also this gun here fires a round burst, so you get not zoomed in. I'm trying to remember the stuff from Halo 4. It's been a while since the last played, so. Oh, it's a three round burst either way. Okay, I thought it was. I thought it was like the. Uh, like, I'm probably gonna be using it for something else, for some other weapon. But then yeah, that other weapon um, is actually, you fire single shot in the scoped mode, but then regular shots in, in and three round bursts in, in, in hip fire mode. But the thing is, the shots in scope mode were actually because they were combining all three bullets into one projectile, solid armor piercing projectile. Here we go. Missiles away! Missile away! No, it's a jam. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. 
The introduction to Halo 4. And I got a whole bunch of achievements. And uh, yeah. Got a whole bunch of gamer score. And there we go. Beat it in 15 minutes. Yeah, so that, that'll do it for this episode, I guess. I mean, I could try the next level, Requiem, but I'm not sure how long that'll go for. So better safe than sorry. We'll keep we'll keep it keep this one to one at one mission per episode. Because I'm not sure how I'm not sure how long each mission's gonna take. Because again, the I've, it's been a while since I played Halo 4. Not really that keen on keen on the game compared to compared to the other ones. But we'll see, we'll see. I'm the Stars RJ. Number two, let's get in. Signing off.